Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We started on the beautiful ship, and now we're at the beautiful Festival of the Arts, opening festival day. Our room is not ready at the boardwalk, so but we said, hey, let's get a snack. <laughs> strong getting some lamb and bread from Morocco. Get James a little sneaky snack to start. James is starting a ritual <laughs> before he takes bites now. He's loving the kebab. I think the Burkhardt clan thumbs up, double thumbs up. Yeah, I think kebab. those are there all year. Yeah. Yes, I feel like that's not the first time we've the first time we've come to a festival. We've not gotten festival food and we've gotten like no more food. But we are gonna get food. Listen, we need to get this kid food. Yeah, and we knew that's what he he, he likes this. Yeah. So. Hi. Sarah, I have a very serious question for you. What? Have you ever eaten hummus with a fork? Yeah. Because I just did for the first time. <laughs> and it was like a lot of hummus. Yeah. So that was good. Um, it's chilly here in, in the Epcot Center it World is. Showcase. It's good. The high tomorrow is in the 50s. Wow. So. Come off a cruise. <laughs> I just want to reiterate, like, so we had the most perfect weather for the cruise, and in the morning that we got off, it was raining, and that's like the only rain we ever saw the whole existence. Right. So, so. like, how lucky was that? Well, I think yeah. this is lucky weather for a festival. Yeah. No, Usually they can be brutally hot, and now yeah. it's got a little breeze. I get to wear so my. Excited. My Nike fleece and your inaugural failings and my new hat around the lagoon. I'm so excited for Disney on Broadway. <laughs> we do leave Sunday, but the main focus of these next two days, like day and a half, is Festival of the Arts. We'll probably this do some other stuff. Because in the, the past few table. years, remember, we would like we'd gotten the scallop. Yeah. And something else. Oh, this is the dumplings. Got, yeah, mm. duck and dumplings. Oh, yeah. should we get it now? Sure. Okay, okay. I was just about to say, like, we're, we're not going to go to every booth in a row. Right. But then what do we do? We go to the next booth. <laughs> the next booth. No, we skipped it. <laughs> All right, it was a bit of a wait, but, you know, Festival of is worth it. The food's delicious and typically is looks like art itself. This is the duck and dumpling. I thought they were going to be duck dumplings. That's what I thought, too, but it's still going to be delicious. Yeah. Is that babe asleep? Yes. This babe is getting there, getting there, and we're gonna eat this duck dumpling uh, while he watches his fun. And they're starting an animation academy, how to draw. Who? Okay. He's like uh, an artist that's at the Art of Disney all the time. And he's gonna teach you how to draw a character? As well. <gasps> see, this is why Festival of Arts is the best festival Epcot has ever Epcotted. Oh, do you see what I see? I see what you see. Do you see what I see? That? It's Christmas time. That duck was so good. Oh, the duck was phenomenal. Everything, even the carrots and the shallots, was eaten. Okay, we have never seen these before. They're like marionettes of Woody and Jesse, but they're black and white. Those are cool. 50 bucks each. Not, I thought it was gonna be a lot more. Yeah, those are nice. And look at this Buzz. He's got his own spotlight. Hey, look at you, where are we? Craftsman's Courtyard. We got Duke Wellington. This is a cold fashion. Is yeah, it it's like coffee? a cold fashion with some coffee. Ooh. It's great. Yeah? Yeah. 
Pika, 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 I really miss Betty. Yeah, that worked, sure worked out pretty great. Yeah. James falls asleep for just under two hours. Yeah. We got a little snackage going on. We got to a bask in cool Epcot. We got a poster from Festival of the Arts. And, and now our room is ready. ready. And, and we originally we were going to only spend one night here and leave tomorrow. So we booked a studio here for a walk. Then when we decided to stay another night, there wasn't any studios available tomorrow night. There's only one bedrooms. So we said, you know what, let's splurge and use our points and book a, a one bedroom. And I was thinking, knowing how hotels work, maybe, just maybe, they'll bump our studio up to a one bedroom so we can stay in the same unit, rather than check out, check in, and stuff like that. And guess what? They hey, bumped our studio up to a one bedroom. So they did bump us, and we are in a one bedroom villa for the next two nights. All right, here we go. One bedroom. Are the greatest. Oh wow. Yeah. 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 When we left here. Check out our view. I think it's a good balcony. I was nervous because it's first floor. Okay, so it's not split, so it's not technically private, but that's okay. But I love this tree right here. Love it. Hi, James. Good morning. You just woke up from the nap. How's it looking from the nap? I'm missing you. Now, here's your tour. You got a wonderful closet when you walk in. Boom, boom, did a boom, boom, boom. Mirror. Hooks for days. It's like cold in here. You got a lovely table. And this is very, I don't know if Sarah said in the, air, the vlog or not, but very Earhart 2018. Yeah, the one bedrooms at Boardwalk. Beautiful kitchen, full of everything. I love this little bar here. I can't believe my babies could like play at that. We used to watch Earhart babies play there. You excited? Yeah. We've got TV, storage, chair, that pulls out. Like I said, here's our balcony. So we have technically two doors, but it's all one, not, they're all connected. Like there's no privacy walls between us. You've got in the one bedrooms, because we haven't stayed at too, too, too many of these in our life of vlogging, the full washer dryer here, shower, all the, the necessities. That door comes into the bedroom where there is the bath with the classic opening to the, the one bedroom, sliding door for a closet that has your safe, your iron, Lovely, lovely, lovely. We're gonna get both the kids in there later. And then the bedroom. So, here you are, the bedroom. Boom, boom, did it, boom, 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 boom. So I think what we're gonna do, because our goal is to see Fantasmic tonight and probably go back to Epcot um, at some point. It's 2.40, the kids are well rested. Oh, sir, he's got the phone. Mickey Mouse, who are you talking to? Are you talking to Mickey Mouse? So the plan is get our luggage. I already called Bell Services. They're gonna bring our luggage over. We're gonna get unpacked. Um, I don't think we said this, but we're doing a photo shoot tomorrow morning to get like family photos around Crescent Lake. Um, so that's gonna happen. But I think we're gonna do Epcot today, Fantasmic later, and we want some food. So I think we're gonna do like a mobile order here at Boardwalk and I'll go pick it up or figure out where we're gonna eat from while we like enjoy the first bit of relaxing in our room. Ooh, look at this pizza. Pizza's for James. An extra slice for us, because why not? Ew. 
Got a Reuben because the deconstructed booth, it does not have the deconstructed Reuben anymore. And then I saw it on the menu and had to have it. And then Peter got an Italian. He got some coleslaw, tomato soup. James, you'll like that too. must play. Okay, we have rallied and we have warmed up our wardrobes. Yeah, it's, it's chilly. chilly. Um, so we're headed back to Epcot for a little bit more festival time. Yes. We're gonna end our night with Fantasmic. Yeah. Um, but there's plenty of time for more festival beforehand. I think Fantasmic is like the only thing we plan on doing at yeah. the studio. So like we're yeah. gonna, we, like seriously, we got a good chunk of time here. Yeah. Epcot. Mm -hmm. oh, hello. Hello. First thing on the list, deconstructed dish. One of my favorite booths, if not my favorite booth at Festival Yards. Curveball, two curveballs. First of all, we're gonna try to go to the eight o'clock show, Fantasmic, rather than nine thirty. Because we're here. We because we're here. We left early. Yeah. Um, Teddy's ready for it. <laughs> Second curveball. James is getting big. The first time ever, we walked into the turnstile, and the cast member stops there. I was like, "Wait, how old's the little one?" Ah! Still two. Yeah. Ah, Sarah. This wow. is one of my favorite views in all Disney World. Uh, there's a few months out of the year where this supersedes Main Street and Cinderella Castle for me. Also, sorry, it's so windy. Yeah, so we hopefully this audio is okay. We don't, we don't have okay. a cat on the, on the microphone. Yeah. But yeah, this is just like, this just fills your soul in a different way. Ah, I also think, we're home, baby. Yeah, I also think like, old Hollywood is kind of like our vibe. Yeah. So I feel like it's just like a different piece Which of our soul. Also why we like the architecture and design of the Wish. Yeah. that has like oh, yeah. was... that old Hollywood vibe. Yeah, love it. All right. Keep our fingers crossed we get into a, a decent spot for Fantasmic if they're still open. I'm hoping everyone's at Festival of the Arts. Last time I was in here, I was getting ready to finish out last 5K of the marathon. Look at that beautiful Fantasmic sign. We got our spot. It is a Brookhart Fantasma Friday. Oh my gosh! It is Friday. <laughs> and we got a bubble wand. What's going on here? And we made it in. It's only like four minutes until showtime. Nothing is more powerful than the imagination, for it can also expand your greatest fears into an overwhelming nightmare. Instead of a World Showcase Lagoon bonus lap, we're doing, I, I, I like, I slipped in my mind what this lagoon is called, this lake, but we went, went to go see Gertie. Teddy woke up, he's gonna get a little snack before we make the truck back. And it's like windy and it's very so cold. It's so windy and chilly. It's 10.15 and both kids are asleep. It's the earliest we've been asleep in a week. Oh, um, since the night before the marathon, but that feels so long ago. 
good to be home. It's good to be home. We're getting family photos taken tomorrow morning. We've yeah, never so done anything early, like that. It's an early day for us. Yeah, but it'll be, it'll be good. Mm -hmm. Good night. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.